In everything that you do, you're serving yourself. And this is why. Because in every action that you take, every time you put your energy, your effort towards something, you learn something about yourself. You know, that's the title of the story. There's a so much more to each experience of, of death, of, of the King of Swords, of the Emperor. There's, there's so much more to, to all of those experiences. So we talk about the, the blessing of the soulmate card here with the, with the Two of Cups. And, and, you know, shorthand, you know, the soulmate card, two of cups, you know, because it is, you know, duality, it's balance with number two, it's commitment with number two, it's it's joy and pleasure with number two. It's And so we know, that, and it's emotional, so we know that it's about those feelings and those two things being balanced on both sides. So this is why we talk about this card as being the soulmate card, but it's so much more than that. You know, this is about, this is you facing yourself. You know, this is you engaging with your emotional self. This is you engaging with your experiences. This is you engaging with your memories. This is this is you doing all of that, having that conversation with yourself. This is you having that compassion for yourself. This is you being honest with yourself. This is you um, experiencing yourself, living, embodying yourself. This is you doing so much more than being in love with somebody else or <laughs> I mean and yeah it might mean that for you and and and, and beautiful if it is and for you etc but this is you know again one of the 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 limited you know in a way that, that the tarot is limited it's like people see the love is card and think ultimately oh my god you know this means I'm going to meet someone and fall in love with them you know no it doesn't you know it, <laughs> i mean you know it can um but it, it's not you know that's and it's the same with the with the death card it's the same with the devil it's the same with the tower it's the same with with all of these energies you know we sort of have our own and we and so we should perspective or idea about a card you know reaction to a card and so we should that's mindfulness that's accepting but then remember what we do next, okay? We Then we meditate. So meditate is about reflection. Meditate is, but where do these come from? Four, four of swords, you know, the meditation card, the emperor. The, the, this is about where do we come from? This is what gives us our strength to understand those things. And so today we may have some, you know, we're thinking back, we're looking back. We're committing to ourselves. We're, again, we're not avoiding confronting some of the things that are challenging and difficult you know it doesn't make it i mean listen understanding you know you know tarot or being a reiki master or um you know the, the things that i do meditating it etc it doesn't make it any easier necessarily like to, to sort of to live through 2020 the only difference the only way that it's easier maybe for me is that this is what i do I look at it, I confront it, I engage with it, I ask myself how I feel, I count my blessings, I sleep, I, you know, watch the repair shop and Gardener's World and I speak to people and I have conversations and I walk my dog and I, and I cry if I need to. I haven't cried for a while actually, which has been quite good, um, but I, I confront myself, I, I, I look at it and I live with it and I engage with it and you know this is what a blessing is it's like everything that we do everything that we do is self-serving I'll say that again everything that we do is self-serving so that means that ev so everyone so if you're a doctor you're serving yourself if you're a nurse you're serving yourself if you're a if you're a healer you're serving yourself if you're a whatever it is you're doing if you're a, if you're a charity worker you're serving yourself and it doesn't mean that you're not also serving your patients and your loved ones and the and the community of course you you may also be serving them but ultimately every in everything that you do you're serving yourself and this is why Because in every action that you take, every time you put your energy, your effort towards something, you learn something about yourself. 
you learn something about who you are. You learn something about your boundaries. You learn something about your compassion. You learn something about your woundings. You learn something about the pain that you carry. You learn something about love, about joy, about appreciation, about gratitude in everything that you do, every single day. And so this is, we talk about this card as being the soulmate card. This is a card of ultimate selfishness and, and, and long may it continue. Praise hallelujah, you see. Again, that word selfishness, we have attachments to it. We think it means something else. Where do those where do those ideas come from? Why is it bad to be selfish? To be committed to yourself, to be committed to your reality, because that's what you do anyway. Just know it. Just know it. Know it. That in everything that you do, you you learn. You know. And if you commit to yourself, if you commit to engaging with, how am I responding? How does this make me feel? What does this make me think? What does this, how else does this make me want to help people? Because what you've learned is that the help is the altruism. The help is the compassion. The help is how you can connect. The help is how you reveal. The help is how you remember. This is what we're engaging with today. This is the blessing of today. The blessing is to know that however whatever we're confronting, whatever we're looking at, whatever we're feeling and remembering, and we're trying to remember the good, we're trying to remember the love, we're trying to remember the joy. But we engage, we are clear, we communicate, we increase our awareness, we talk to ourselves, we meditate, we feel, we think, and we love, and this is how we love, this is how we transform, because we allow ourselves to engage, we allow ourselves to feel, we allow ourselves to respond, to react to what we're feeling. This helps us to transform, this helps us to see, to see the real blessing in what we are, in what we are currently facing. Yes, there are blessings here. Yes, there are. And today is for you to notice them. For Today is for you to respond to them. Today is for you to allow these blessings to help you to transform your perspective and your point of view okay my darlings i hope you like that reading and um, thank you for being here thank you for being with me having mm -hmm. all the messages all the daily pulses are in their own playlist so you can watch them all back uh as well okay my darlings have a wonderful day take care bye